Welcome, 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 welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We are back. It is good to be back. It is good to be back. All right, let's get into today's show. Uh, well, first, let me turn my light on. We hit on another lock. I gave you guys a nice little three-play parlay that we hit on the in away card. Uh, so that's like five, six locks of the week in a row. I'm going to give you guys another lock if you're in the Patreon, guys. So join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Uh, it's also in that little ticker below. Just $5 a month. Get you all the best gambling boxing, boxing gambling advice in the world. I am absolutely the best in the world at this. There's no one that can make it do like I do it. Uh, so join the Patreon. Link is in the description. $5 a month. to get the lock of the week. You get the updated props. Like there's no props on this fight that we're about to do today. Uh, you get ask the bookie anything, request a video, whatever you guys want. I'll show you how to make money in any single fight. Just let me know what fight you want to bet, and I will show you how to make money. I can do a video for it uh, as well. So that's the Patreon, five dollars a month. Uh, link is in the description. It's also in that ticket below. Also subscribe to that's how Texas boxing scene on YouTube. That's Texas boxing scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right, y'all, let's get into today's show. Kevin Hyler Brown, Hayler Brown, uh, John Boza, Bowser, John Bowser, Kevin Hayler Brown. I'm going to get his names right. Uh, Kevin Hayler Brown is, is a good fight. I, I, I like this fight. It's a bet on it. I'm going to get into why. Good boxer, good footwork, good movement. He does get hit a little bit. He keeps his head on line a little bit, but he's got pretty good volume that, that fades off as we get later into rounds. Early on, he can win rounds. He can he can put round to the bank. For what he is, for a Cuban boxer, he's not super sharp. He gets a little sloppy, uh, and he doesn't really land on the button. There's a lot to like about him, but he's, he's, he's not all the way there. Solid pop in both hands. Lightning quick hand with good pop. Good combination puncher. And like I said, early on, he's a good volume puncher. And that volume drops as we get into fights. Um, sells himself, sets himself up well on the back foot. Uh, he sets himself on the back foot and can fire off the back foot. He can switch, switch his weight from his front foot to his back foot and fire off his back foot really, really well. He's a good back foot fighter, but he likes to fight, fight off the front foot. Classic boxer puncher, multifaceted, good athlete, twitchy. He actually doesn't have a ton of lateral movement. He's not really your classic Cuban fighter when you really get into the tape. Uh, good, sharp, quick counter puncher. Seems to get frustrated by movement. He doesn't like a moving target. Uh, he wants to come forward. He wants you to be in front of him. He wants to unleash in front of you. He likes the exchanges. He likes to be in front of you. He does have a nice sip, sip jab, and like I said, his volume falls off. This guy's a front runner. He gets out to the lead early, and then it's hang on, right? Hold on. I do think Bowser is a guy that is kind of tailor made for him. Although Bowser is a mover, and that seems to frustrate Brown a bit. I don't think these guys are at the same level. Bowser just fought not too long ago. Uh, fought Richardson Hitchens, and he got dominated, should have been stopped potentially, um, got beat down, lost every round. He's tries to be a slickster. That's what he's going for. He's not a hitter at all. Back foot guy, uh, flicks the jab. He's a jabber. Quick, quick feet, good footwork. That's what he's got going for him. He's got good footwork. Uh, he can maneuver himself really well around the ring and get in and out. But he's mostly a jabber. He, he's kind of, in a sense, uh, like a British-level fighter where he's got good feet, he, he's got some skills, but there's not much to him. He's not a hitter. He doesn't really put shots together. He doesn't hurt you. He's not a great combination puncher. He's just kind of putting, throwing shots out there, looking to score, looking to land. He, whoever taught him how to fight, taught him well. 
He's a decent athlete, nothing spectacular, decent speed, nothing spectacular, no power, doesn't go for knockouts, doesn't look to hurt the guys, doesn't really commit to shots. He's just looking to get in there and score, and, and he's not a hyper athlete who can win big fights that way. He's just not that level of fighter. He gets hit a lot. Uh, Eddie Hearn would love this guy, right? Like, uh, you know, this is the kind of guy that Eddie Hearn loves, and maybe that's why he got hit. He, he looks like one of Hearn's British fighters. Um, he's a good fighter. He's got decent skills, but this is uh, just a, a level too far for him. He gets hit a lot, too. Uh, but he's a tough, rugged guy. Decent fighter. Decent skills. Decent speed. Great feet. No pop. Uh, gets hit a lot. Can't hit it all, and he's ultimately going to be out of his league a little bit in this fight. So I like Kevin Hyler Brown probably by decision. Uh, I definitely like Hyler Brown by decision. I see this fight going the distance. Uh, we don't have any props on it yet, but when we do, come back, join the Patreon. Link is in the description. We're going to take a look at the props. We're going to take a look at the over. I like Kevin Hyler Brown here on the money line. I think this is a, a, a good bet. I would make this a two-times bet. A $200 bet will make you 50 bucks. Minus 400 is not terrible for uh, the level of mismatch that this fight is. If you're building a parlay, I would build it around this. Kevin Hayler Brown's going to win this fight. He's going to outclass Bowser. He's going to outbox him. Uh, he's going to come forward. He's you know he's going to dominate him at points, and he's going to look sloppy, but he's going to win a fight. He's going to win more rounds than Bowser wins in this fight, so he wins the fight. He's the bigger hitter. Brown has some pop. Bowser has none. I'm not saying Brown's the biggest hitter in the world, but he's not feather fisted either. Uh, Bowser kind of is feather fisted, just to be completely honest with you. So I like Brown on the money line, minus 400. I think minus 400 on, on your typical bet, in this case, I also make you 50 bucks. I think this is an excellent bet to to build your parlay around. You add a couple of easy fights, you throw in a couple of gimmies, and now you got something cooking. This is an easy fight to make money on. I love the odds on this. You can make a little bit of money on it as a standalone bet, uh, but I, I think your best value here is making this the foundation of your parlay. Uh, when we come back, if they do drop props in this, I like the over. I like Kevin Brown by decision. I like these bets. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, leave your thoughts, comments, uh, please like, share, and subscribe, follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog on all forms of social media. It is uh, September 4th, 2024, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.